My name is Dr. Alaye Tariteoflos, the ninth president of the Joy Youth Council, IYC Worldwide. Thank you and God bless you. That took place on the 17th of, 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 of March 2024 that happened in Ibumotaro. These are people that were killed. This is one of the property that owns by a prominent son of a Bumotaro community that was burnt down by the Nigerian military. These are pictures of people that were just in the waterfront that were shot dead by the Nigerian military without any form of provocation. Till date, the Nigerian military has not addressed the Asian nation and the people of Bayasa states and the Bumotaro community what transpired? What is the offense that these innocent people committed? Even in a war scenario, when someone raised their hand in form of surrender, it is expected of the military not to fire. But people that were not even harmed, the Nigeria military went to our communities and shot over 20, 40 of them, dead, still counting, because some of them that are thrown into the river, the community people have not been able to retrieve the bodies. But what they have counted as dead bodies is over 40. This is the reason why we are saying that enough is enough. And the Nigeria military, as a matter of national and regional urgency, interest, address the world and tell the people of Asian nation the cause of this unwarranted attack on the people of Asian nation and Igbomotoro as a whole. Thank you and God bless you. God bless Asian nation. God bless IYC and long live Nigeria. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you. Out of uh, emergency, urgency, come to the aid of the people of Igbomotoro too and you stop peace in the community that has been in peaceful before the unwarranted invasion of the Nigeria military. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press. I am Dr. Alaye Tare Teofilios, the ninth president of the Joy Youth Council worldwide. On this day, the 29th day of March 2024, 2024, we deem it fit to grant this World Press Conference to address salient issues that are affecting our people, the people of the Niger Delta, especially of the Azure ethnic nationality. We as a council, we condemn in totality what happened in the Okiyama community in Delta State, where some group of unknown men killed over 16 army officers of the Nigeria army that were going for a peacekeeping mission in the Okiyama community. As a council, as a people that are law abiding, there is no way we will accept such kind of act in the Niger Delta. Hence, we are condemning it in its totality. 
This is an act that no sane headed human will support. And a Jure Youth Council and a Jure Nation is not an exception. Secondly, we want to call on the Nigerian military to please act with all form of professionalism. Over time, when issues of youth, criminals in our community have some form of misunderstanding with the Nigerian military that are working in our region, what we experience is burning down of our community, killing of innocent youth, destroying of properties worth millions and billions in form of reprisal attack is what we have been observing as people in the Niger Delta. Sometimes this their act makes us so ask if at all that is the rule of engagement that they apply in other regions of this country. We as a people, as the largest ethnic bloc of this Niger Delta region, peaceful coexistence, creating business-friendly environments that will bring job opportunities is our priority. And that is why at every given point in time, we have been at the forefront to see that there is peace and tranquility in the Niger Delta. And that is why when this issue happened in Okema, the Joy Youth Council has not been resting. We have been making sure that those that carry out the act is brought to book. The culprits are brought to book so that they will face the wrath of the law. While we are doing that, we are appealing to the Nigerian military to please assure the people of the Niger Delta that there will be no reprisal attack while the culprits are being looked for and the process being investigated so that we can get to the root cause of what transpired in Okiyama so that those that are behind will be brought to book. With what we have experienced in Okiyama community is burning down of houses, destruction of properties by still the same Nigerian armies, which has always been our fears. And at this present point in time, that is what we are still experiencing. We are appealing to the Chief of Defense Staff, Mr. President, to please come into the aid of the people of the Niger Delta. Why we appreciate the military for the effort and sacrifice they make in bringing peace, protection of property in the Niger Delta, our community, and Nigeria at large. We are also calling on them to please, when they are dealing with our communities, apply the rule of engagement. We all believe that we are one Nigeria and no community should be treated differently from how other areas and communities are being treated. Because over time, as I said before, if one individual in any of the Niger Delta or a job community has misunderstanding or a crisis situation with any person or group of persons in the Nigerian military, it's our entire community and the innocent people that are living in our community that pays the price. Today, while we condemn what happened in Ukama, we are also using this medium to draw the attention of the media and the international community to what is happening in the Bumotoro community, the Bumotoro too precisely, Bumwebe Kingdom in Bayelsa State. On the 20, um, sat, uh, on Sunday, being the 25th of the Saturday, Sunday was 25th? 17th. Okay, Sunday 17th of March 2024, in the early hours 
of that same day, military gunboats watching over nine invaded the community and started shooting rapidly into the community and killing fathers, mothers, youth, and children watching over 40 in number to death without any tangible reason for now. As we speak, properties have been destroyed, houses are being burnt down, and even some of the dead bodies are being burnt while others are being thrown into the river to flow into the Atlantic Ocean. The Nigeria military that we know is not established for such unlawful actions and activities. Sometimes we wonder why it is very, very difficult for the Nigeria military to apply the internationally established standard of the rule of engagement when it comes to our communities. Hence, we are calling on the chief of defense staff, the chief of home staff, the chief of naval staff, and Mr. President, Senator Bola Ahmed Sinibu, to please come into the aid of the people of Ibomotoro community. As we speak, the community and its neighboring communities are having humanitarian crisis. As everybody in the community has run for safety under this harsh economic situation. And as we speak, people are being starved because the military and their personnel refuse to allow anybody to leave the community. Neither would they even accept others to come into the community. The community has been held on hostage from Sunday 17th till date. And we haven't had any reason. The military has not addressed. They don't even deem it fit to tell the young nation the reason why an Azure community has been attacked unnecessarily and our sons, daughters have been killed. We are using this medium to call on the president to please come to the aid of the people of Ibomotor 2 community. We are also calling on the governor of Bayasa State and every meaning is your sons and daughter to please call on Mr. President to intervene with the military. There is no community that is devoid of criminal. If there are criminal elements in our communities, do the proper investigation and carry out the arrest. With credible information, we are also hearing from the feeders that the attack that happened in Egbomotoro is as a result of what happened in Delta State. Okama community, for crying out loud, is not an Asian community. And Okama and Egbomotoro in Bayasa State is not sharing boundary. So we don't know the yastic behind the attack that is happening in Egbomotoro, where innocent sons and daughters of a young nation has been killed unnecessarily. In as much as we are aware, if there are criminal elements in our community, proper investigation should be done and the culprit should be brought to book and not to go to our community and kill innocent sons and daughters going about their daily activities in our communities. That, as a council, as people, we cannot tolerate and take it anymore from the Nigeria military. Hence, we are calling that from today's henceforth, when they want to engage with, in our communities, they should be professional with the activities because we don't want the Niger Delta to turn to the pre-amnesty era where every community were lawless. In as much as we are going with our sensitization activities of telling the youth of the Niger Delta to key into bringing meaningful peace that will bring development and business investors into our region. The military should not be at the forefront to trigger unnecessary crises and put our region and our communities in bad light before 
the international community. In as much as we know, the job nation, the job communities are always law abiding communities. The job people are law abiding people. And that is why you see that when the federal government engage sons and daughters of the job nation to support them in securing their oil and gas facilities, there was tremendous progress. Meaningful results we achieved. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.